Hello, fellow Denise, my name is Rick Denise, and today I'm for the episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby Wonderlock series. In the last episode, we went ahead and explored Topless City, and uh, well, we did a whole bunch of stuff there, and then we had, went ahead and battled out the 8th gym leader. Yes, that is right, we have gotten all 8th gym badges, and well, now it is time to go to the Elite Four, is it not? Well, not just yet. Anyways, always thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy today's video. And as always, be sure to hit that like button, some love. As it will certainly will show some love back right at ya if you do that. In today's episode, we're gonna go ahead and we're not gonna go to the Elite Four just in order to Victory Road. We're actually gonna go do a few little errands that I wanna do before I actually get on with the rest of the uh, Victory Road and Elite Four. Because I feel like these little side quests I'm about to do are very, very, very important. And uh, yeah, but we're gonna go do that. We're gonna actually get in today's episode. We're gonna go get TM24 Thunderbolt, and uh, we're gonna go and uh, we're gonna go to Pacific Log City, or however, no, however the fuck you wanna pronounce that city's name. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go there, and then uh, well, that's that's me for this episode. So I understand if you wanna skip this, but if you don't, well, then I very I appreciate it very very much. Uh, just because, well, we're, we're still gonna do a lot of stuff today. It's just, we're not actually gonna go on where to the Elite Four slash Victory Road. Uh, just because, well, uh, I just, there's so much stuff I need to do, man. There's so, so, so much stuff I need to do. Also, I guess you cannot get the Gengarite until after game. Uh, which is kind of disappointing. I would have liked to have a Gengar at this point in time in the game Or not a game not if we already have a Gengar a, G uh, a Mega Gengar I would have liked to have a Mega Gengar for the Elite Four However, that does not look like it's gonna be happening, which is very very sad But it's just fine. It's all fine and dandy. I guess I guess we'll just for now Go with Gengar. Anyway, let's go and talk to you there because that's actually how we start off the event. Vanessa, you got here just in time to give me a hand and take a look at this. This is Square Tower, an attraction here in Marvel City. It's not just for decoration though, it has a purpose. It's monitoring how things are going in a place near here called New Marvel. To put it simply, it's a watchtower. The light, the light's shining brightly now, see? It's warning us that something out of the ordinary may be going on in New Marvel. Huh. I've got something to ask you of you, Vanessa. If we're gonna keep, if if we're gonna, if we're going to keep standing around, take our talking. Can I get you to come to my place? I've got an apartment on the second floor of the Marvel Hills. I'll let the security guard, security guard, know. So how about you grab the elevator on the first floor? I sure I'm sorry to put you out like this, Vanessa, but please do come. Well, I guess I'm gonna come then, cause well, you are how we're actually getting TM24. Yeah, uh, I'm getting TM24 Thunderbolt just so I can teach other to Galvantula, cause I feel like. Thunderbolt's gonna be a very, very good TM to have on our Galvantula. Since our Galvantula is a special attack, and I do believe TM24 is a special move. I do believe Thunderbolt is actually a special attack. However, the, now that we're here on New Marvel, there's actually quite a th few things to do here. Uh, there is, I believe, you can get a Mega Stone Summer, which is the Adenoite. This lady actually does a rotation battle, but I'm, we're not gonna get into that just because I don't I don't want to take on a rotation battle, man. I don't want to do that. Holy, there's a lot of people in his apartment building over here, man. Like, there's so many people in his little apartment. There's not there's only and there's only one bed. How does that even work? I guess you can sleep on the couch. Right here we got a little power tower or picture that kind of looks like the tower, the Lumio City Tower. I, I think that's what it's called, but the gym, the. Uh, I think that's like the fifth gem or something like that. This lady over here gives you a small ribbon. Uh, not really sure why, but she gives you a small ribbon. You, do you gotta say anything? Do you got anything? Oh. Well, okay, I guess Gengar isn't that affectionate to me. That kind of makes sense in it since I just got it like a few episodes ago. I'm nobody. I'm nobody with no power. It's no use talking to me. So that guy... You see how upset he is. He's pretty depressed, right? He's, he's very, very depressed, actually. If you go across the hallway here, uh, I already talked to most of these people over here um, in the Pokemon Center. Uh, you do that a whole bunch of times. If you don't know how to do that, go check out our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. I know I'm giving, like, a lot of, like, fucking free advertisements to my Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. 
but that is because, well... Okay. That is because, well, uh, this isn't really a walkthrough, this is more a challenge, so I'm not gonna show you guys how to do all this stuff on screen. I'm just gonna do that stuff off screen just because, well, there's no really, there's no really point in showing you guys this stuff. Uh... Okay, I guess I haven't activated it 100% yet, but we'll, we'll go activate that just in a second here. Aha! Yo, how many months do you think you haven't paid for? If you don't pay what you owe, I'll take everything you have, including your Pokemon. No one is here. No one is in this unit. Oh, no one is there. Then they can't be helped. What? You there. You're talking. Don't give me that. Oops. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're pretending not to be in the last month and the month before that. You may need to have a long time. Let's go inside. Oh boy, this guy's getting evicted, man. He's getting evicted. That's what happens when you don't pay your bills. Uh, I think can we go in here. Oh, let's, let's press the button. <laughs> no one's here. We just saw people go in there, man. We're like, don't, don't, don't play that game. I guess this one's full as well. So once you've g gone ahead and, well, pretty much talked to everybody here, this guy will come out over here and he's actually going to give you the Law Pony Knight. Uh, I could have sworn that was Odino I thought he was going to give you, but that might be an... I don't even know, man. I could have sworn he gives you the Odino Knight. Anyway, he gives you a Mega Stone, so that's pretty cool. And with that being done, the uh, only thing we got to do now is go talk to Watson and then actually activate the... Uh, vent I was talking about where that little guy was there. He's like, I'm so lonely. The guy that's depressed. You can actually activate his event. Here's Watson, though. Oh, Vanessa, you've made it. I'm sure, I'm sure sorry to call you all the way out here. Well, I've got a favor I need done right away. I've mentioned this before, but that bright flashing on top of that tower means something new, something may have happened in New Marvel. That's why I called you here. I want you to go check on things in New Marvel. That's, there's just one thing, though. New Marvel is usually a prohibited area. Back in my day, it was just locked up normally, but security has been evolving too. Don't you go anywhere just yet. Yo, man, I, you did not ask me to take- you did not ask me if you can take my picture here. We are famous in this bitch, nah. So, I, I don't know, I'm gonna have to take that picture back from you, hey? Hey, thanks. Let us take a picture of your- oh. My eyes, man, are my eyes that gorgeous? I think they are. I just take a picture of your eyes. Now we, now we just use the computer to transmit this data. Do, 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 just like that. Now if you go to New Marvel, the doors will open automatically. The basement key has what they call iris recognition. When you get inside, go press the button on the computer in the back. When the computer starts working right, come back here and report to me. I'm sure I'm sorry to bug you with all this, but I'm really counting on you. Alrighty, man. That sounds good to me. That sounds good to me, man. Once you're done talking to Watson, you actually want to go ahead and grab a Pokemon that has uh, the HM Surf. You wanna go pick that up, uh, or wait, no, 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 do we? I guess we already have somebody of Surf, I, for I completely forgot that Greninja has Surf on him, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, once you've done that, you actually wanna go grab a Pokemon of Surf, which we already have, I guess. And then you wanna go on ahead and bike down here. Down this path down here, this little, this little path over here. I'm actually kinda getting, I'm actually kinda getting the hang of Marvel City now, to be honest. I used to hate the design of Marvel City just because of how... It's, it is, it's kind of, it kind of reminds me of Lumio City, and it has a lot of resemblance to Lumio City. There's actually a lot of people, and, well, not, I guess not a lot of people, but it, there's quite a few people in, uh, a new, uh, the upper Marvel area that talks about, uh, how, uh, Watson actually designed, uh, new Marvel after Lumio City. But yeah, once you've done that, you actually want to go, I think, is there an item over here which we can grab? I, I think so, actually, to be honest. No, there isn't. What the hell? That is such a suspicious area. This a little tree right there with some writing, and there's no item there. It's actually so suspicious. But anyway, you want to serve on over here, and then uh, go in here, and this is new model for you. And with this being done, we actually do get a new encounter here, because this is new model. And, uh, well, I, I cannot wait to see what my counter is here. Also, there are some Pokeballs over here, but I'm not going to grab any of them just right now just because I actually want to get a new encounter man and some of uh, the reason why I'm not getting those pokeballs actually is because some of the Pokemon there actually are Pokemon in those pokeballs which are electrode slash Voltorb and I don't really want those because I already have a uh, 
Look at this man, look at that. And I'm froze right right there. But yeah, I already have a I already did I already encounter an electrode? I think I did, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I did. But yeah, here's the computer you want to press and talk to. Yeah, we did. We already did catch an electro because we caught one in the... Uh, where was it again? In the Team Magma headquarters. No. And what is our encounter here? Please be a Magnemite. Please be a Magnemite. Hey, it's a Magnemite, which we have. We have not encountered a Magnemite yet. Uh, or caught one. Actually, I should say caught because we, we have encountered Magnemites plenty of times. I'm going to go for an Ultra Ball here because I thought... I legit thought when we were capturing... Actually, no, why did I buy the Ultra Balls, to be honest? I have no clue, to be honest, why I bought these Ultra Balls. But anyway, let's go throw some Ultra Balls at the thing, please. Can we catch this Magnemite? Come on, game. He cannot be that selfish. Come on, now. Come on. Let's go, Ultra Ball. Get it, Magnemite? Get in that Ultra Ball, man. Get in that Ultra Ball right now. One, two, three. Hey, that a... I guess you can't really say Magnemite's a guy or a girl because it has no gender. So we're just gonna go with that a girl guy Magnemite. There we go. That a boy hermaphrodite Magnemite. Yes, we're gonna go with hermaphrodite because a hermaphrodite is something. Quick little fun fact here: hermaphrodite is actually a creature or that it has both genitals. Yeah. The more you know, eh? The more you know. For a second, I <laughs> spell fast, say Bikini wrong. But now we can go actually want to check this thing off. And I'm really, really hoping that we get a fighting type Pokemon, man. I really need that. I've been, like, thinking about what I can do against the uh, ice type gym leader. And there's there's nothing. For the dark type gym leader, I do have something there. I actually completely forgot that dark type Pokemon uh, bug type moves are super effective against dark type Pokemon. So I already have a major advantage with Galvantula and it's bug by I think it has bug buzz now. I think I deleted signal beam with bug buzz. Or did I delete bug buzz for signal beam? I don't really know. I just know it has some awesome bug type moves that will definitely sweep the dark type uh, Elite Four member. And then after that, we are taking on I think the ice type gym leader then, and I'm very very worried about the ice type gym, uh, not gym leader, the ice type elite four member. Very very worried about that, just because I don't have anything to do yet. I don't have anything. Really, man. Really, you're giving me a ghastly. Anyway, like I was saying, I don't really have anything against the ice type uh, elite four member right now. Got no fire type Pokemon. I got no. Fighting type Pokemon. The only Pokemon right now that I have that's kind of fighting type, well, it isn't fighting type at all, but that actually has a fighting type move is Gengar. And I don't really know, to be honest. Gengar has a very, very. This thing has Fire Punch. Yo! Yo! No, I'm not. I'm not trading. I'm not trading. I play Ghastly again, and I'm pretty sure I can't even keep this because I got I got Species Claws on. But anyway, what I was saying is I don't really want to use Gengar against the Ice type Elite Four fight just because Focus Blast is so unreliable, and it, it's it, I don't think it's gonna work to be honest. It, it's not gonna work. I need to get it. I need to teach something else that's Fighting type, or get it a Fire type move. Maybe teach it Flamethrower or something like that. That will definitely help us a lot if it, if I can teach Gengar Flamethrower. Oh, that would be so good. Okay, come on here. Let us see what we can get. Let us see what we can get here. Come on. We already got this. We already have a tentacle. Why are we getting so much duplicates today? Like, what? I thought today it would be a good day to record the Wonderlock. Uh, this episode is, uh, especially, because we're getting... I think we're getting two new encounters. I think. Maybe. I'm not too sure, because we're, we're go after we're done getting... Hopefully getting a new Pokemon and want to trade. We're going on. We're going to Pacific Log City, uh, and we can get an encounter there. The thing is, the encounters there are kind of screwy because we already have a majority of the Pokemon in that area. So we're gonna have to go catch a Relicanth or something like that in order to actually get a new encounter for that area. Otherwise, we're pretty much screwed. There isn't really anything else we can get there to be honest. If we uh, don't get the Relicanth encounter, but I mean. It's, it's a relicant, and are we really gonna get good Pokemon today? It doesn't look like it, so I might not even bother getting an encounter there. I might, we just might just explore Pacific Log City, and that's gonna be it. But come on! 
Oh, that's great! I have PD Mountain! So... Thank you, thank you, you know what? And we, we, you... Man, are, if you're doing one of trades and stuff like that, don't put Master Balls in Pokemon, because we already know this is a half Tapini. Why would you throw a Master Ball at a Happini, man? So we already know this thing's half. Anyway, that's our, I guess that's encounter for this area, which is a stupid Happini. But now... Okay, I do not remember. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I used the max repel, okay, because I was like, yo, how do we get 89 super repels? That's just insane. But we're going to go pick up these Pokeballs and stuff like that, which isn't, it isn't, it, they're, they're, they're all right items, I guess. It's just a bunch of escape ropes and shit like that. Oh, and this thing over here is an electrode, which I'm going to run from, because knowing my luck, as soon as I start, try attacking this thing, it's going to use explosion or some shit like that on me, and it's going to be a good game game, or it's, Good game, game guys. I don't want that, man. Do you know all that? So, uh, yeah. So we got all our Pokeballs in there. I hope you guys like that little montage I did right there. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm trying to make my edits a bit more interesting nowadays, I should say. I guess interesting isn't really like the proper wording for it. But I'm really trying to make them a lot more interesting for you guys. Like, I've, I've been watching a lot of videos, and there's actually a lot of stuff I can actually do with Pokemon videos, where, like, with editing-wise. I always thought I was only going to be limited to... I know, I'm just standing still here. I'm just doing a little... Oh, uh, just doing a little fucking... Yeah, little ramble right there, but yeah, I don't know, like, lately I- Ooh, there is an item around here. Did not actually expect there to be hidden items around here, to be honest. A Max Repel! Hey, so we got that Max Repel back that we, uh, used, and, uh, yeah. So with you being done around here and getting all your items and stuff like that, you can actually go ahead and get out of here and go back to, uh, Upper Marwal. So once you're back over here with Watson, he's gonna be like, Oh, Vanessa, sorry to make you come all this way. You went out to New Marvel, right? The results of your investigation has been sent here to the computer, too. The most important thing is that there don't appear to be any abnormalities for the time being. Let me give you this as a way to say thank you, just to say th sorry for causing you such a hassle. And it's like that, he gives you TM24 Thunderbolt. Why does he give you TM24 Thunderbolt for this event? I don't really know, to be honest, but it's a very, very painful way of getting TM24 Thunderbolt, but... It's definitely gonna pay off in the end, and let's see, I actually wanna see if Thunderbolt is a physical or special attack here. It is a special, okay, sweet. And both Gengar and Galvantula can learn that, so I'm definitely gonna go ahead and teach Galvantula this. What should I delete though? Should I, because I know, do I have Thunder? Or no, I do not. Uh, I'm not sure. Actually, I'm gonna speed stat, that's good though. This may also cause paralysis. Yeah, 80, 90, Discharge, man, I'm sorry, I have to delete you there. Thunderbolt's a better, way better move, and, well, Thunderbolt also has a chance of paralyzing the opponent, or leaving the opponent paralyzed, so that's, that's good. That's very good. But we are done in Upper Marvel, and I guess this Mish event over here, I think I have to wait till after game to do that, so post game, and, uh, so I guess we won't be seeing that on this, but if you told, if you want to see what that event does, definitely check out the Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Um, so now that we're done there, we're gonna go downstairs. Actually, no, wait, scratch So we're not gonna go, well, we are downstairs, but we're actually gonna go ahead and fly over to Route 127 now. And if you're wondering, Jake, why are we going to Route 127? What the hell are we doing there, man? I thought we were going to the Victory Road. No. We're not going there, sadly. Not yet, though. Don't be like, oh, wow, we're not going there anymore. No, no, we're, we're going there, man. We are going there. Just for right now, we're not going to go there just yet. 
we're actually going to go ahead and go onwards to Pacific Log over here, which is right here. There it is, but we haven't been there, so it doesn't say the name. So we're actually going to go ahead and, can I, can I drop down somewhere? Yeah, I, could, I could think I can land right here, to be honest. And then we're going to go on ahead and surf on over to Pacific Log City, which is the last place which we can explore in this game. And, uh, well, the, while we go in there, you might be asking, just to explore, maybe get some new encounters, which we probably won't be getting. This because, well, I've been thinking, and I pretty much caught everything that is catchable on this route that we're, that we're going to go to Pacific Log. So, it's, yeah, we're probably not going to be getting any Pokemon uh, as an encounter, just because there's Pelippers, there's Tentacles, stuff like that. Why am I getting Pokemon encounters? Do I have a Super Repel on, and I should not be getting encounters. Because I know for a fact that Gengar is faster than this tentacle. Or what? Wait, wait, maybe maybe their pal isn't on. Maybe I just forgot to put it on? I don't think so. I don't think that's what happened here. Do not think that's what the case is. No, not the super repel on max repel. Yo, I guess I didn't what the hell? I thought I had a repel on. I guess I said no. Um before we go anywhere, I wanna see if I'm going the, the right direction actually. I wanna see if we're doing that. Yeah, it does seem like we're going the right direction, because right now we're on, we're going to Route 129, if we go this way, I think. Yo, that's a Remoraid. I think that's a Remoraid, right? No, this is a Finion, this is a Finion. Oh, okay. This is a Finion. So this is a new encounter for this area. Actually, I don't think- I think we've already got an encounter on this area, to be honest. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure, so it doesn't really matter. We- we already got an encounter for this area. But yeah, so with the- we did get the National Dex as well in the last episode, I believe. And with you getting the National Dex, you are able to actually get uh, different encounters of other Pokemon now. So we go to areas such as... Well, where we are- are we going the right way? I don't- I feel like we're not going the right here to way, to be honest. But if you go to uh, places like the Safari Zone or the Mirage uh, spots we've seen earlier, and you go run around there with the not while you've got the National Dex, you're actually able to encounter Pokemon from other regions such as uh, X and Y, Diamond and Pearl, and the Center and the Center region and stuff like that, which was very very cool. I like how they did that in this game, and how it still serves a purpose. Uh, so I think if we go, if we go, la if we go. If we go west now, I think we'll be able to get a new encounter. So we get a Finion over here on the, the west side. Route 20, 129, this is a new area. I gotta keep seeing this map on here because I actually don't have a map. No, we completely, we completely skipped that area over there. Secret Meta, what is this though? I guess that's a Secret Meta. I think if, I think if you use Dive to get access to that place. But I believe this is a new route as well, if I'm not mistaken. I Think this is a new route? I'm not too sure though. It doesn't really matter though. We're we're just we're just gonna surf on over over here, skip any trainer battles, stuff like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a new route. To be honest, I'm pretty sure this is a new route. Do 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 do. do anything? Oh, Route 130. This is definitely a new area. Oh yes. Illumina. This is Illumina. I have no clue pronounce spoke once name once again. I know in every walkthrough where I've had this thing encountered, people are like, Jake, why do you pronounce it like that? And I'm like, man, I honestly don't know how to pronounce this thing's name. I it's I know it's Alo Ma Mo Mula Mumula Aluma I, I don't know man. I, I just can't. It's one of those Pokemon's names where I can't pronounce it. Just like Arceus. There's so many ways to pronounce that thing's name. But I go with Arceus, some people go with Arceus, some people go with Arceus. There's just so many ways to pronounce that thing's name, where with this thing, I just don't know how to pronounce it. I've never heard it being pronounced on the anime, because I didn't really watch the black and white anime. The black and white anime kind of was like what made me not watch the Pokemon anime anymore. But uh, the, when, it, when it came to the Decalora, Decalora adventures, that, that was awesome. I liked that with the black and white anime. And then the X and Y anime has been really, really good lately. I'm really liking that. But there we go, we caught our encounter for Route 130, which is a Luma La La La. And uh, we're gonna go see what we can get for this thing. I'm hoping we can get a fighting type Pokemon for a Luma La La La. Like, this is a pretty good Pokemon, man. Like, it's a pretty damn good Pokemon. Actually, it's very, very good if you've got a certain ability on it. I forgot what ability it is that you want to give this thing in Wi-Fi battling, but it's very, very good. 
Uh, so let's go and name this thing hashtag McTD. And let's see what we can get for this little guy over here, man. It's, it's a little big, a big little love disc. Man, I seriously, this thing should have been love disc evolution. I don't know what Pokemon was thinking when they did that. Because it literally looks like it literally looks like something that Love Disc would evolve into. But no, sadly, Illumilala only has one evolution, which itself it is have it, yeah, so. This thing was I don't know why. Yeah, you obviously Is it the ability of hydration? I don't know. I, it might be the ability of hydration that you want to give this thing. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and wanna take this thing off to see what we can get for it. Hopefully we can get something pretty damn good. Pretty good here. Come on, fire type Pokemon. Come on, Cyndaquil. I would love to have a Cyndaquil as a fire, fire type Pokemon. I would, I, would, I would replace. Actually, not a thing about it. I have no clue who I'm going to replace with if I do get a fire type Pokemon. Because I'm definitely replacing somebody to, uh, with a, to get a fire type Pokemon. I was thinking about replacing Snorunt. But that's probably a bad idea considering there is going to be some dragon type Pokemon to deal with later on. And we get a... Oh, a Bottle B! That is actually such a good Pokemon right there. Such a good Pokemon. Digger Speed though? Digger Speed though? No, no Digger Speed those. But uh, Bottle B is a very, very good Pokemon. I'm pretty happy with this trade actually. I, I won't be using it though just because I don't have any use for it. But it's a, it's a good Pokemon. Let's, let's surf on ahead here. What is this? Sorry, my instincts are just kicking in here. I gotta see this Pokemon. It sounds so cool. What is this? Oh, it's a Frillish. I don't even know you can get encounter Frillish here. Wow, I honestly did not know that whatsoever. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Now I know, now, now I know you can get Frillish there. Huh. The more you learn and the more you know, eh? Fuck you, Tentacle. We don't need no tentacles. We got plenty of those. We got actually we got way too many of those. So here's Route 131, and we can actually get a new encounter here. But over here, what is over here? What is over here? You may ask. Well, we can actually not go over here just because this is. I think this is the entrance to Sky Pillar. If I'm not mistaken, we already got that, so we cannot get that here. Uh, but I think this is the entrance to Sky Pillar. I'm not, yeah, this is yeah. Yeah, so we have not been recognized to go over there, but that's the interest of Sky Pillar. See, that's pretty cool, I guess. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, that's after game stuff, which we will pro unfortunately not be getting into. Uh, I'm gonna not battle you. Uh, I wanna get a new encounter, though. Can we get a new encounter over here, like a Relicant or something like that? It does not seem like it. Uh, the second like thought we battle. No, stupid. Oh, really? We, we really ran into a battle. We went so good without encountering any. Battle stuff like that, and then we had encountered Sh uh, trainer Sumer. It, your name's Shusi. Okay, okay, man. No, I'm not. No, I'm not gonna make fun of your name or anything like that. But I'm just saying. I think your parents may have been upset when they named you, man. Just, the saying. Yes, there we go. The Starmie's dead. Goodbye, Starmie. Goodbye, and look at all that experience. We're eating it up, eating it up. Num 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 nums. Okay, there we go. We're done there. Uh, do, 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 do. I really want to get an encounter for this road. No, I really want to get an encounter. Alrighty, we got an encounter here for Route 131. Where'd it go? There it is. It's a frillish, man. It's a frillish. Come on, frillish. Hey, look at that. So this is our encounter for Route 131. I actually had to serve around for quite a bit before they get this. It's a male frillish, but it doesn't really matter if it's a male or female. I just like the female one better because it's pink. I don't know why. I just pink frillish looks so much cooler than the male one, man. I just I don't know what's. <gasps> yes, critical capture rate too. Can we get this? Hey, I think we got it. Hey, this we did. This we did. Because I've had some critical capture rates fail on me, so I'm just like whenever I'm like I get a critical capture, I'm like man, I'm actually gonna get this, or is it gonna like troll me and not? No, I'm not just gonna get it. There we go, we got a Frillish, which is very, very cool. I love Frillish. I honestly, well, I like the girl one a lot better than the male one. It's because, I don't know why, just the pink design of it just looks so much more cooler than the blue one. Which I know, it's pretty weird to say, eh? But that's just, that's just what I like. I like the pink one. So there we go, we got our encounter for Route 131 now. And so we can go ahead and want to trade this thing off. 
which we're gonna go do. Um, no, what, 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 what am I, what am I doing? What am I doing? Here we go. Let's just want to trade over here. So come on, fire type here. Come on, we really need this fire type Pokemon to be like, or a fighting type Pokemon would be good as well. Cheek pouch. I don't know what that does to be honest. I feel like that's a hidden ability. But here we go. Let us trade off our Frillish and see what we can get here. Let's see what we can get. Let us see what we can get here, to be honest. Let us, come on. Come on, Water Trade. What are you going to give me? Please, I really need a fire type or fighting type Pokemon, man. I know, I've, I know I've been saying that for so, like, I've not been saying that so long. For so, like, I know I've been saying that too much lately. But I really, I really need to get that. Because otherwise, next episode, actually, no, two episodes from now. Because we still, we got three more episodes. I, we might not be able to beat, no, we got four more episodes now, I think, about it, actually. Oh, Garbodor! No fucking way! I'm not using this piece of shit. But this piece of garbage, I should say, actually. I hate this Pokemon, man. I hate its design. I hate everything about it. Just because, well, it, ah, it's just so ugly! Ugh! Anyway, I don't really mind that counter encounter, actually. Just because, well, it's not gonna help us or anything like that. But it's, it's better than nothing, I should say. Better than nothing, eh? So let's go on to Pacific Log over here, and here we are in Pacific, Pacific Log Town. Nothing really much happens over here. What is here? Because, well, actually a lot of stuff happens here, apparently. I forgot that there's a Mega Sun over here we can get. That's actually not the reason why I came here. The reason why I came here is because, well, I wanted to, I wanted to go to every town before we actually go on ahead and get to the Elite Four. But right there, you get yourselves a Kangaskhanite, which is very, very, very powerful. Indeed it is, eh? Indeed it is. But let's go explore Pacific Log City here. I don't- or town. I don't really think there's that much to do here anyway. Like, yeah, there's a few folk tales you can be told here. They're talking about Latias and Latios in this house. This guy gives you TM56 Fling, which is, I think, this house is like the main- like, is the main attraction in this- in uh, Pacific Log City. Except for the house where you get Regigigas. So the Pokemon guy over here gives you a TM27 Return! Which is quite a good TM. Not gonna lie, that is a very, very good TM, actually. And I don't really, really think there's anything else in Pacific Log Town to do, to be honest. It's it's a, it's a, it's a quiet town. It's, it's kind of like a fishing town in a way, to be honest. So you're not going to get much in this town. It's just a bunch of folk tales and stuff like that. Give it Blossom. Why on earth would I trade a Blossom for a Corsola? A Pokemon with the worst stats in the meta game. Why? Why game? Why are you doing this to me? This guy gives you TMO3 Psyshock. Look like everybody in this town just gives you TMs. Because they're like, yeah, man. We got, we got TMs for days out here. For days, I tell you. Huh, the Mirage spot, eh? I'm pretty sure you're able to catch Mew in Pokemon Emeralds with if you if those guys said that they saw the Mirage spot. Or something like that. I don't really know. It's not really a common thing to happen. So I never really got that. But anyway, this girl over here is very, very important, as she will tell- this determines whether or not what item you need to put on Reggie Ice. So if she doesn't say anything, you're gonna have to put on either the Never Melt Ice or the Snowball. If she says something about a Snow Cone, then you put that on your Reggie Ice, but if she doesn't say anything about a Snow Cone, don't even bother getting the Snow Cone, man, like, don't even bother that. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much everything for this area, to be honest. There, or there isn't really much, like I said, there isn't much to do in this in this area. Like literally, we just came here to explore, get the few TMs that we got, and the Kangaskhanite. I didn't even know we can get that here, to be honest. Um, and if you go on over west, you will actually get to the, a different area where you can get some TMs and stuff like that. But other than that, it, there isn't really much to do here. With that being said, we're gonna end it off here. I know we didn't get much done in today's episode. But it was one of those episodes that just had to be done. In the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and go on to Victory Road and see how that goes. Hopefully it goes well, hopefully. I'm, I'm hoping it does, actually, because I'm I'm quite nervous for the next few episodes, to be honest. The next three episodes or so, I am quite nervous for them. Anyways, always thank you, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And until next time, peace on stickers, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. As always. Thank you for watching. She's getting TM24. Yeah, uh, I'm getting TM24 Thunderbolt just so I can teach her to go Vangela because I feel like Thunderbolt's gonna be a very, very good TM to have on 
our Galvantula. Since our Galvantula is a special attack, and I do believe TM24 is a special move. I do believe Thunderbolt is actually a special attack. However, now that we're here on New Marvel, there's actually quite a few things to do here. Uh, there is, I believe, you can get a Mega Stun Summer, which is the Adenoite. This lady actually does a rotation battle, but I'm, we're not gonna get into that just because I don't, I don't want to take on a rotation battle, man. I don't want to do that. Holy, there's a lot of people in his apartment building over here, man. Like, there's so many people in his little apartment. There's not, there's only, and there's only one bed. How does that even work? I guess you can sleep on the. Today's minus week today, and today I'm for the episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby Wonderlock series. In the last episode, we went ahead and explored to Topless City, and uh, well, we did a whole bunch of stuff there, and then we had went ahead and battled out the eighth gym leader. Yes, that is right. We have gotten all eight gym badges, and well, now it is time to go to the Elite Four, is it not? Well, not just yet. Anyways, always thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are gonna enjoy today's video. And as always, be sure to hit that like button, some love. As it will certainly will show some love back right at ya if you do that. In today's episode, we're gonna go ahead and what have you got here? Just time to give me a hand and take a look at this. This is Square Tower, an attraction here in Marvel City. It's not just for decoration though; it has a purpose. It's monitoring how things are going in a place near here called New Marvel. To put it simply, it's a watchtower. The light, the light shining brightly now. See, it's warning us that something out of the ordinary may be going on in New Marvel. Huh? I've got something to ask you, of you, Vanessa. If we're gonna keep, if if we're gonna, if we're going to keep standing around, take our talking. Could I get you to come to my place? I've got an apartment on the second floor of the Marvel Hills. I'll let the security guard, the security guard, know. So how about you grab the elevator on the first floor? I'm sure I'm sorry to put you out like this, Vanessa, but please do come. Well, I guess I'm gonna come then, cause well, you are how we're actually, not actually gonna go on where to the Elite Four slash Victory Road, uh, just because, well, uh, I just, there's so much stuff I need to do, man, there's so, so, so much stuff I need to do. Also, I guess you cannot get the Gengarite until after game, uh, which is kinda disappointing, I would have liked to have a Gengar at this point in time in the game. Or not a game, not a- f we already have a Gengar, a, ga a Mega Gengar, I would have liked to have a Mega Gengar for the Elite Four. However, that does not look like it's gonna be happening, which is very, very sad. But it's, it's fine, it's all fine and dandy, I guess, I guess we'll just for now go with Gengar. Anyway, let's go and talk to you there, because that's actually how we start off the event. Oh, Vanessa, you're not gonna go to the Elite Four just in order to Victory Road, we're actually gonna go do a few little errands that I want to do before I actually get on with the rest of the uh, Victory Road and Elite Four. Because I feel like these little side quests I'm about to do are very, very, very important. And uh, yeah, but we're going to go do that. We're going to actually, uh, in today's episode, we're going to go get TM24 Thunderbolt. And uh, we're going to go... And uh, we're going to go to Pacific Log City, or however, no, however the fuck you want to pronounce that city's name. Uh, we're going we're gonna to go there. And then, uh, well, that's that's me for this episode. So I understand if you want to skip this, but if you don't, well, then I very I appreciate it very very much. Uh, just because, well, we're we're still gonna do a lot of stuff today. It's just we 